Task 11.10, Transaction of GL. You may go to GL, Cashbook Entry, or you may go to the shortcut icon of Cashbook Entry. Now, let's go to GL and select Cashbook Entry. Click the New button. So, at here, we will choose New Payment Voucher. Let's create our first transaction. The first transaction we will pay to supplier XYZ. Description will be cash purchase. The date is 6th of current month. Payment method will be cash. And for the amount, it's advisable for you to enter the amount under the main column. If you click the plus sign and under here, this one is to add another payment method if you have more than one payment method. Click the second plus sign. This is for adding a new row. So it's advisable for you to enter the amount under the main column instead of payment amount. The amount under payment amount is a total amount and this is a sub amount means you can have more than one item involved. Now let's choose our account number. The account number will be purchases. Description will be cash purchase. It will automatically follow the default under description on the top. Enter the amount 400 ringgit. For the cash book entry, you have to select the tax code manually. As the one that we set in our tax code maintenance is mainly for AR and AP and also for sales and purchases. Now, let's enter the tax code. The tax code will be P10 for purchase tax 10%. And automatically, you will see the amount of the tax is 40 ringgit. And the net total is 440 ringgit. So, once you have entered the amount, automatically, you will see the payment amount on the top be automatic include also by the system. Now, since we have another transaction of payment, so please check for proceed new payment voucher and click on save. The second payment voucher is to AA Enterprise. Description is photocopy and the date will be 9th of current month. Payment amount also by cash. And click the plus sign and editing to add a new row. The account number will be printing. And stationery. Amount is 15 ringgit and 80 cent. The tax code is now. There's no tax code involved. So we don't need to enter any tax code here. And automatically, you will see the next total also will be 15 ringgit and 80 cent. Now, click on save. And let's do the last payment voucher. We pay to GG Tire. Description is WAR123. And change the date to 13 of current month. Now, the payment method also by cash. Click the plus sign to add a new column. The account number will be maintainer, um, correction, will be upkeep of motor vehicle, which is 9060000. And the amount is 300 ringgit. But for the first item, there's no tax code involved, which be now. So either you click on clear if you already selected the tax code before. And the tax will be zero. 
Now, please click the plus sign to enter the second column. Also the same, you have to select the accounts of upkeep of motor vehicle. And for this item, the amount is 200 ringgit. And this item involved with tax code PS6. So you have to select purchase service tax 6%. And automatically you will see the tax rate is 12 ringgit. So the total will be 500 and 12 ringgit. So once you have done, please uncheck for proceed new payment voucher. Since this is the last transaction under payment voucher. Then click on save. So we have successfully created three transactions under cash payment. So please close cash book entry. And that's all for task 11.10.